Hello guys, my name is Andy and uh, welcome to this uh, let's play of Empire Total War. It's been a while since I played this game, so that's why I kind of wanted to get back into it and see like if it's as good as I remembered. Um, I used to play f France and England a lot, um, and those are some pretty decent factions for this game. Uh, but I do think that this time I will go with Austria, because uh, Austria is... I don't know, I've, I've never played them in a, an Empire campaign, and uh, I play them quite a lot in uh, EU4, so uh, I think that could be fun, actually. Uh, kind of focusing a bit more on Europe than, um, uh, than the colonization game, although that might uh, come later. Uh, we will have to uh, see. Um, so yeah, uh, I think we'll do a long campaign. We'll actually do a... Yeah, a long campaign. Let's do that. And um, gameplay options, great. Um, probably, probably hard. I don't want to crush myself, <laughs> but let's not. So, so let's not do uh, very hard at this at this point. Let's do hard. Ah, oh, Empire. Remember this game was very. It was. It was a strange experience, um, coming from Medieval 2. It was just so different, but not simply in good ways. Although peace has recently been brokered with your mortal enemies, the Ottoman Empire, it would be wise to maintain a military presence on your mutual borders to the southeast. For instance, in the recently reconquered Hungary and Croatia, you may be required to immediately restore public order to satisfactory levels, along with missionaries to halt the spread of Islam in those regions. These regions certainly require urgent military reinforcement. Protestantism is spreading like a disease through the German regions of Rhineland, Hanover and Saxony. And although many people still follow the true religion, in some cases their heretical rulers do not. If too many of the population convert to Protestantism, invade their territory and bring the true religion back to the people. There may also be the possibility of expansion to the north and east, especially if Protestant Prussia tries to unite German-speaking lands under their banner. They may also try to partition Poland for the same reason. If this occurs, Russia could also act against Poland, so it may be necessary to invade Poland to prevent the Prussian and Russian empires from becoming too large. Perfect. Um, so yeah, this is Empire uh, Total War. It, as you can see, the like it's this game is from two thousand and I believe it's nine. Um, the graphics are still pretty beautiful. Uh, they're kind of timeless, um, although. It, it must be said, I am using a graphics mod that kind of merges the game's graphics with um, uh, those of Napoleon's. Uh, so the, the lighting effects and stuff are slightly better. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a really big map. Um, it's Europe and the Middle East, Asia over here until India. Uh, and we're also doing... Uh, uh, North and uh, Middle America, um, and a bit of South here. So that's that's fairly large. So it it's large in scope, uh, but what was always kind of weird was the fact that France was only one major region, or like had one city basically. A lot of those smaller cities that Empire first introduced, so like a port, like a farmstead, mines, et etc. Uh, but the fact that France is basically just Paris and Spain is just Madrid is kind of kind of strange. Um, but it is a unique experience. Uh, Empire is uh, it, it is very uh, different, and it's also the first game where you had sort of um, rank and file uh, gun armies, basically. So let's see. Uh, we're Austria. We're in the we're in Central and Eastern Europe here. Um, our enemies, we have some big enemies or possible uh, rivals. The Ottoman Empire is massive. 
Um, but this is kind of the the historical time time uh, period where the Ottomans were on the decline. Um, they would become the sick man of Europe, but by the 1700s, they they didn't manage to expand further into Europe, and uh, soon they would lose the Balkans uh, and everything to local revolutions. Uh, Russia is quite a big state, um, but they are a bit far away, I guess. They're not our immediate neighbor, which Poland, Lithuania is. They're also quite large, actually. Uh, Prussia, I think Prussia, honestly, I remember very little of how the different nations act here. Um, so it will be fun to see how they do. Because you would imagine that Prussia is a semi-strong nation, but they only ha have two cities. They are both big though, like large uh, capital size uh, cities. Uh, so, so we will see how this goes. A Empire is basically divided into three types of, of cities. You have the large capital size uh, cities, which Vienna and uh, Prague is. And then you have the cities which, for example, um, Presburg is, which is like a... It's either a military governor's encampment or... Or is that the only thing we have? Yeah, I guess. So it's like a... It's like either an administrative or like a military region. Yeah. With only one main building, but also like a, a wall. Uh, if, if that's something you want. And then we have the one... Uh, one... Uh, building towns. Which is basically like anything from schools to mines farmsteads um uh yeah farms and stuff so it's it's an interesting concept indeed um i just wish they had made the actual map bigger so that you, you could have more cities like this empire was also the first game to introduce a kind of slot based uh, city structure so in medieval and rome you could have as many buildings as the game allowed for like as were available uh, essentially empire only allows you to have one two three four five six in total in the largest ones and you kind of have to choose uh sometimes if you want like yeah like what type of of building you want uh further up in there but let's get started so we're austria um i think we kind of want to definitely see what prussia and Poland are up to. They're the biggest um, um, possible enemies up north and east, while the Ottomans are in the south. But the Ottomans, as we can see, they don't have that many armies. They have some forts and some um, cities here, but they're only they're only very sparsely or scarcely manned. Um, so not a lot of big armies available. We have a spy here, which we, we can use to sort of um, to see the enemy's placement. Uh, and there are c currently no armies that are close to us. Let's see this. Yeah. We have this one. We probably want to create, like, to improve the infrastructure of our uh, cities. Because they allow us to make more money and for our troops to move faster, I think. So, for example, in Petersburg, we would want some roads, cobbled roads. We have roads already, but cobbled roads, um, as you can see, improves campaign map movement speed and also four plus per turn to town wealth. Uh, and I really like that system uh, because here it's very easy to see actually how much your city will improve every turn with every uh, building that you make. So here's the city screen and right now, the growth is minus 10 gold, which is not good. And that is also reflected in this um, symbol here. It, it goes down. Uh, while in Vienna, yeah, it, it also goes down and it goes down in Prague. So we're not in a very good position, actually. We're we're going down, <laughs> so to speak. Um, so let's try to build something. Um... We're gonna build roads in every city we have, I think, because we our empire is actually quite large. It stretches from um, uh, from Prague to um, Transylvania. 
And we want to be able to move our, our troops as quickly as possible. Um, so we did that. Let's see here. We can build... We can improve our military governor's barracks as well. But I think that for for now, we have... Um, like, our army is well enough to survive these first turns. So I think we will kind of focus on the civ... Billion, yeah. We also have a city here. Okay. Um, as I said, I don't know what Poland will do. Um, Empire was also the first game to to to, to introduce instant uh, diplomacy, and it's kind of a neat UI. Um, so it's possible possible to talk to any other faction in an instant, and their religion is can can. Uh, Conveniently uh, displayed here, while the type of uh, state uh, or regime is is displayed here. So Poland, Lithuania is a constitutional monarchy, which is quite rare here, while we are an absolute monarchy. So I think because uh, Prussia is kind of our main uh, enemy, along with the Ottoman Empire, I think we will want to try to secure Polish relations if we are able to, and they are in. In uh, different to us, or Prussia is unfriendly, uh, and they are also Catholics. So let's try to get some trade with them. Uh, we can't see what they actually think of this, so let's just try it. They did not accept, uh, but I am going to try again. So let's see if we can get some trade rights if I give them some money. I think that will be worth it in the long run, and they accepted. So let's see. Uh, I think we are able to see how much we actually make uh, in a screen here. So from trade, from Poland and Lithuania, we'll, we we will make 451 uh, gold each turn. Uh, which means that by our third turn, we will have uh, remade that 1000 uh, gold we paid for. So that's actually really good. Uh, we are also currently trading with the Italian states. Uh, which uh, controls Rome, uh, Venice, here, Bavaria, uh, here, and yes, uh, Poland, Lithuania. That's a good spot to be in. Uh, our government government popularity is going up. Um, this is based on your public's happiness. You can check this by examining their public order. So basically, it's, it, it is determined by how happy these people are uh, and uh, they're divided into the um, I think aristocrats and the commoners and it's almost always more difficult to um, to keep the commoners uh, happy uh, but you can do so by um, taxing each one of them so you can lower the tax levels of both the nobility and the lower classes individually which I think is a really cool uh, feature actually. This is strange because in the later games they would simplify the system so much so that you could only change the tax structure of your whole empire at once. Uh, but you can't change the taxation of your individual cities unless you simply want to exempt that city from taxation, which is pretty bad, I think. Uh, we also have, um, let's see, we can make some more trade deals maybe. Um, two, what do we want to trade with? We can't trade with Russia, or Spain, or Sweden. Uh, we can't trade with France, but we are unfriendly, or they are unfriendly. Uh, the Ottoman Empire, we don't want to, but they're unfriendly either way. Mughal Empire and Maratha Confederacy. So, so these are Indian factions, and they're quite far away, so I'm kind of unsure whether um, we'll actually make anything on that. But we could try, or, or we could try to secure a trade with some of the minor factions in Europe. Uh, for example, Saxony. Uh, it could be wise to try to form an alliance with Saxony, although they are unfriendly. They're Catholics, though. Let's see. I don't think this will work, and I kind of don't want to pay because I think we won't make as much on... Okay. <laughs> for 530. I wish it was possible to see how much we we, we would make on this uh, this deal. This is something that you can in the later games, which is good. Uh, but not here. But I think we will risk this. So 530 
uh, for trade. Uh, and it will probably also improve our relations with Saxony. So let's, let's say yes. Good. Now let's see how much we're going to make on that. 417. Okay. So we'll make that money back in two turns, which is really good. Uh, we also have something called research or technology, which Empire also introduced. So a lot of firsts uh, for Empire. Um, it's basically divided into military, industrial, and uh, philosophy uh, or philosophical uh, technology. Um, and you can research these based on how many schools you have and also um, the, the speed of how quickly they are researched depends on the level of of the school um i think prior research as well i think uh, some some will speed that up and also we have agents called uh, gentlemen <laughs> uh, chivalry is not dead uh who can speed up the process as well so for example gentlemen can fight other uh, gentlemen um to sort of i guess ruin other people's um, research speed and Stuff like that. But we will put him in our school. In Gras. So, so he can speed up our research uh, speed. Um, normally, it, it's really good to go with the plug bayonet um, research. Because you want the ring bayonet. Plug, plug bayonet allows your troops to basically plug a, a bayonet on their muskets. Which will allow them to be more effective uh, close combat fighters. By having... Ring bayonets. They'll have this on uh, from the start. From the start, so you won't actually have to enable it. And I'm pretty unsure if once they have the plug bayonet on, if they can even shoot. Um. So we do want this, but if we we want it right now, I'm a bit unsure of. We want something that can uh, allow us to make more money first and foremost. So empiricism. Uh, will give us better technology research rate, uh, one plus per per turn to gold in town in uh, every region, um, and uh, we can upgrade our schools with that. It will also give us more national prestige, which is another sort of um, victory thing in this game. We are currently at twenty four, so we're in f one, two, three, fourth place. That will go up based on the military, economics, naval, and the enlightenment. Um, basis of your country um i think oh physiocracy looks uh, good uh plus two per turn to time wealth in the region plus two wealth generated by farms enables buildings of plantations we don't have plantations in europe though um at least the same types so that won't be any good for us but maybe in uh, industrial common land enclosures minus one happiness okay but population growth, and we can build bigger farms, which will net us more money. Uh, reduces the chance of food shortages, plus 2% wealth generated by farms. I think we'll go with... Uh, this This is uh, quite hard. I think we'll try to go with... Um, common landing closures, actually. Uh, because it, was, it, it will allow us to imp improve these farms, giving us... Um, a lot more money, 225 plus 2 region wealth, which is really good. And also growth, which will net, uh, net us uh, more taxation uh, income. So let's do that for now. Um, let's see here. We can improve this building, which will give us more money in this region. Uh, we could build those roads, though. Yeah, I think we'll go with roads for this first turn. Um, and I will put my armies... I think in cities because I am, like I said, unsure of what our neighbors, <laughs> what our neighbors will actually do. So I think it's good to have them in sort of like the border regions. Let's see here. Um, let's see here. We can also improve these, uh, this, 
thing here. We actually have nothing here now. Uh, but, but we can build a, a peasant farm, which will uh, be good for us. So let's do that. Uh, anything else we can build? Don't think so. No. Cool. So let's... One thing is that, like a tactic in this game, if you want to cripple your enemies, basically attack all of their smaller t towns, because in that way um, you lose the income bonus and you also have to repair them if you want to regain that bonus. Um, so that obviously costs a lot of money. And that's why I think I want to put some units in some of these. Uh, because that way, at least there will be some sort of battle and the enemy has to maybe think twice about uh, attacking. See, it's kind of, it's kind of uh, tempting to attack the Ottomans right away. Um, but I think, I think we'll be safe or, or uh, we'll be peaceful for now. See here, we wanted some more trade if that's possible. Uh, what's the trade here? Yeah, let's try to get some trade with uh, an Indian nation. Uh, I think the Maratha Confederacy, although smaller now, as you can see here, um, than, than the Mughal Empire, I think the Maratha Confederacy is the faction that usually ends up winning. Uh, so I think I'll try to get a, a trade agreement with them. And they accept it. Perfect. So let's see how much money we'll, we'll make from that. 461. So that's uh, very good. That's actually the uh, trade agreement we make the most money uh, from. Which is excellent. Uh, and in income next turn is 5,400. Uh, and we have, got, we have gained... 2,600 from trade alone, uh, almost doubling uh, what we um, originally were making. Uh, and as we can see, we can no longer make any more trade agreements because our ports are not large enough. Uh, or we do not have uh, enough ports. <laughs> and I think that's, that's probably it for now. Let's end it there. Let's uh, end the turn. So Empire is obviously a turn-based game, as opposed to um, as opposed to Paradox games, which are uh, real-time strategy games. Uh, okay, so Prussia wants a trade agreement with us. If we remain neutral with Prussia, we can focus on the Ottoman Empire, uh, which I think kind of sounds nice, and uh, a trade agreement, although we have to pay for it, will probably... Uh, make us money in about two turns, so I think we'll say yes to that. Uh, Poland Lithuania offers uh, military access for eternity. They want some regions, and I'm not going to give them any regions, so no, sorry. I think that's a that's kind of a in the later total total war games, uh, Creative Assembly has removed the option to buy and sell regions uh, perhaps it's enabled in three kingdoms actually but in rome attila and stuff that was not possible and maybe it's because the ai just simply can't handle it i do think it's a feature that sh should be in though but maybe that's why war between the united provinces and spain so that's basically the netherlands and spain i guess they um yeah so at this time, uh, Spain occupies uh, Belgium, basically. I assume Amsterdam wants, uh, wants it back. The, or the Netherlands. <laughs> United Provinces. Uh, our roads will be finished in two turns. Um, we're actually making all good, uh, good money. I'm happy with that. Let's see, let's make roads there as well. We could not afford it last turn. We can upgrade a lot of our small towns, and as you can see, that was actually a lot of money to be made from this uh, workshop. Plus 900. Um, I guess it's maybe plus 300 extra though, uh, but also plus 8 wealth, and it, it allows us to research new stuff. 
Uh, same with over here. And I, th I think that's probably a good thing to do as of this moment, because we need that money. So let's do that. I think we should be safe from... Uh, uh, are we controlling this area too? Okay, nice. But I think we are safe from uh, Polish uh, intervention uh, for now. Um, next turn, we'll probably recruit some new soldiers. Let's see, next turn we're going to make, uh, with that new trade agreement, 5,800. That's really good. Russia. Again, they want a region. I don't, uh, I don't like that. Their demands, Silesia. I guess alliance, no. Okay, so... <laughs> Yeah, Prussia declared war on, on us. Um, I have some... I have allies. We actually have a lot of allies. I, I forgot to check that. And they have one ally. I will call them to help. Unsure whether or how, how, how many of them will actually join us. So let's see here. Ah. That kind of sucks. Uh, so only two minor German nations joined us. And we have cut our, our alliance with uh, the rest. Um, it doesn't say that Hanover joined them, but maybe they did since they are still allies. Or I guess they didn't ask them to join yet. Uh, Poland and Lithuania are still coming at us with some other crazy proposals. They want three cities while giving me one. I don't know why I would ever do that. And Poland and Lithuania declares war on us. Okay. Ugh. Where we are continued uh, to be joined by our two uh, trusty um, German states. Okay, so this took a turn for the worse. I did not expect that. You would think when the AI accepts trade relations with you, that they would want to keep those relations for more than um, six months or something. Uh, okay. Let's see here. We want to we want to buy line infantry uh, or recruit line infantry first because they are a lot better than simple uh, militia. We can hope that Poland stays away from our land for a few turns at least, uh, and maybe it would be wise to try to actually get some trade with the with the, the Ottoman Empire, and they accepted. Uh, that might alleviate some of the bad stuff we suffer from losing the trade agreement with um, Poland and Prussia. Let's see here, we're gonna make um, five thousand four hundred. Yeah, so so we basically lost four hundred. Sweden took uh, Norway from Denmark, but okay. Line infantry, get ready. Three and okay. We we'll have to make some uh, like a barracks here to be able to recruit more land infantry in Prague. Make cannons. We need this. We should probably have some walls so they have to siege us. Do they even have to siege us? Maybe not. Maybe that's what uh, Empire changed, um, where you had to actually siege a city before taking it. Let's see. We want some more militia, even if it's just just uh, militia. Um, could probably also move these to the front. Um, yeah. Let's see here. Uh, and let's make them as well, even though it's only militia. Let's see, are we at war though with Russia as well? Because they're allied to Poland and Lithuania. Um, let's see here. No. Poland, Poland, Lithuania, Prussia, Barbie States, and Pirates. Yeah, everybody's basically at war with these last two. So we are only at war with um, our two traitorous uh, rivals, allies, I suppose. And they're at war with us and the two German states. Okay, then let's wait for the next um, soldiers to arrive. Oops. Russia moves in, I assume, on Prague. Or maybe some random farm. 
for Breslau. Yep. Okay. I guess we will have to fight this battle. And prob probably lose. But we are the defender, so let's see how this goes. I think I'll save just for the... For the sake of it. If anything crashes and so on. Okay, let's fight this battle. Oh, gonna be good to uh, kill some Prussians uh, before they kill us. Or, yeah, interesting. I really didn't expect us to be tag teamed by Prussian and Poland uh, this early. But that's kind of as another deal with Empire. The AI is a bit. It's just not a perfect game. It is really cool. It's a really cool concept, but it just has so many flaws. Um that the sequel empire which is only in europe though so 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 it's a small smaller scope but a better execution i would say but empire still remains uh, really cool so i think i'll change the um controls to having like the normal total war style uh, that was not it here uh battle total, total war style nope <laughs> Sorry about this. Here we go, standard camera. There we go. That way I can swoop in. Okay. Let's see. We are on the walls. We're in a fort. Uh, a typical 17th century fort. And the enemy... Uh, we don't know where they are. They can be anywhere beyond this blue square. I guess they are. They should not be here. They're probably over here then, since the square is there. Oh, it's several spots. Dang it. Okay, but I'm going to think that they're here somewhere. Cannons? Can they be on the walls? No, they cannot be on the walls. Uh, I can place them outside, but that kind of sucks. I think placing them inside and kind of hoping that if they get close enough, we'll just use grape shot. Okay, we do not have grape shot. Uh, grape shot is a type of cannonball where you only shoot the splinters of a cannon. It's deadly against uh, meat bags, which humans are. While while normal cannon balls are kind of the best against um, against uh, force like this one, for example. Let's see, we have pretty bad troops uh, to defend the fort with. We don't have any uh, men of the line. We have some pikemen, which will probably be useful in uh, in here, though. Let's see if we can set up some uh, simple uh, stuff like that. We can set up defenses like this, but I kind of want my cannons to be um, movable. Let's see here. In Empire, you can also occupy uh, houses. Um... Which you then have to fight over if the enemy tries to um, take it from you. Actually, see, so yeah, I I do think the end that we can actually man man these cannons if we simple uh, simply have people standing on them. Uh, I think that's everything we got actually. Let me see. Yeah, it is. Okay, this doesn't look good, but let's start. Yeah, the enemy comes from there. I think we'll move this these folks over here so they can man these cannons. And you better run. Let's see, but we do have these cannons, so that's uh, that's really good. Um, these will just have to wait here. Should probably. It would have been nice having them out here, but uh, they're coming from over there too. Okay. So maybe you should stay there. Ah, they have more more folks over here. And what I found really cool about Empire was that the soldiers actually carry flags in the previous uh, Total War games, they don't carry flags or banners and the like. Which is a really nice um, aesthetic, I gotta say. Especially with Austria. We have... Actually, no, you, you know what? Only... Oh, that's not good. Can you stop? <laughs> Thanks. 
uh, only men of the line and uh, sort of official good troops carry flags. So our our firelock armed citizenry are not fancy enough to carry flags, which is sad. So they will try to scale. Yeah, perfect. Way to shoot ourselves. Yeah, here's a flag. I love the Austrian flag with the eagle, the crown. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Okay, let's see here. I think we're gonna pretty much be destroyed by the Prussians here, who come with, who come at us with only uh, line infantry. We're a lot better than our 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 soldiers, and our cannons seem to not really hit that many. Nobody has died yet. Just sad. Oh, five people died there. Okay. Let's see, will you shoot? Will you pledge to shoot? I guess. Let's go. You guys can do it. You, the two of you. Why are you not shooting others? Are you going to shoot now? No? Okay. Yeah, get them. Get at them. So they're going over there. They're being smart. Something which we are not. Or my men are not. So I'm going to try to meet them. Um, um, so so they're going to man our walls now. This is kind of trash. Uh, we could try to man the houses instead of um, fighting with them. Which we'll probably will lose. So you know what? Do that. And you guys should probably... Ugh, it's so bad, it's so bad. Let's see. Obviously, like, it, it's, it is obviously an advantage to have the walls. We do get some kills in. Um, but not nearly enough to what we should be getting. And they're up on the walls. The banner is up. Uh, see here, let's, you're going in there, right? Yes. And I think I want you down there. The cannons now, they're kind of useless because, um, for one, they can't move. See here, they captured, or we captured that building. They can't move, so, and they don't have grape shot, which is just, uh, just bad, and these guys are not doing anything useful as of right now. We could try to fight them, um, and, uh, you know what, let's try to get at them before they kill our general, just... Maybe this isn't the smartest, or, but we're gonna try. Yeah, die, flag carrier. I think the thing about Empire was that also, uh, generals just, like, they just die in combat, so it's not the best to do what I'm doing right now. But I do want that flagman killed, and also this early uh, line infantry do not have bayonets yet. Having bayonets uh, and fighting them like this is a lot worse. But here our our close quarter footman comes in, which which means that we have an advantage probably. See here, if we station our troops uh, both here and we station you over here, meaning that we can shoot at them from several sides. Why are you not shooting? Can you shoot? Can you shoot? Shoot, please. Yes, okay. Building lost, no. Ah, uh, okay. Um, well now I think I'll move these away because th there definitely is friendly fire in this game. And we do not want to kill our own uh, general. So if you can just move away, that'd be amazing. And uh, not while these guys are firing. So let's uh, do this first. Wait, they took the house. Right? No, they're... Okay, so their they're one, one line infantry group are shattered. That means that they are fleeing from us, and we can just uh, shoot them down, uh, at least in theory. 
These guys are not yet. I think I'll move my close infantry away and have our gunmen over here. So that once these people come in, we can just uh, shoot at them. Ideally. Let's see. And we're still wreaking enormous havoc on this uh, on these Prussians out there. Their general is out here. We uh, have no way of... You know what? Our pikemen will be very good against them. If we can set them up in the right way. Uh, or if we can just shoot them, actually. That would be great. I think I'll uh, prepare these. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Pike wall is really good against horses. Yeah, get it. Come in here. Oh, is he the first one even? Yes. There they are. They are running away, but not fleeing. I probably should have sent my uh, pikemen in there. This is a group I definitely want to get rid of as quickly as possible, because there are a lot of uh, people in there. Um, these people don't have any more shots, so they should probably just... Uh, close the distance. We've taken some of these guys out. 87 uh, are left out of 120. Uh, and they uh, basically cannot inflict enough harm on us up here. Because we have the uh, defensiveness of, of the walls. We only lost two against these, this uh, fairly elite uh, group of units. And they're closing the distance. Let's try to close it as well. Let's get our soldiers out of there. We could. I would have. I wish we had better types of cannons. Let's see. Let's uh, let's try to get you into this combat, and uh, maybe get you inside the house. That way you can shoot at all sides. Let's see, how is this going? Still confident. We're charging them with our spears raised. <laughs> Not the best, but okay. At least we're close quarters with, I hope, swords. We got swords, they only got guns. I think we should be at an advantage in close, com in close uh, combat at this uh, stage of uh, technology. And now we are in the house. I repeat, we're inside the house. I think our, uh, the presence of our general is needed. There's no radius as of right now, so we cannot tell how effective he will be at what speed, at, at what um, distance. But either way, the closer the better for our troops morale. And we could try to hit these guys in the back for massive damage. See here, are you out of, uh, yeah, and these guys are out of uh, ammunition, so let's put them down there. Where they can do better stuff. These guys are not out of ammunition, so they keep shooting. Very good. Let's see. Do I want to charge these guys? Um, I think we should try. We can see where that takes us. They're shaken and they're shattered. Perfect. Let's see now if we can make these other people also uh, run away. They're broken. Amazing. Oh, and there's the enemy general. Let's get our pikemen to, uh, to attack that guy. I think we will remove our general right now. We don't want him to um, be in any more danger than he needs to be. Can't you f fight them with your pikes? Literally, that's what pikes are for. Pike wall formation. And uh, attack. You guys have more to shoot with, so let's place you here. You guys are down here. Perfect. You guys are still confident. Confident guys. Okay, so you're in, a, you're in a wall, but you're standing like absolute idiots. Maybe instead you could, like, attack the general's bodyguard the right way. There he is. Just get him. Get him with your pike. Do it for Austria. Kaiser is uh, watching, guys. 
Yes, and there we go. We got him. Mission accomplished. Leopold von Anhalt Dessau, that frisky Prussian bastard. Uh, his force is shaken. And uh, it's only a question of uh, time, a matter of time, when these people will also run from us. Broken, they are running. I repeat, they are running. These guys are left, they're steady. If we send our force against them, however, they, prob they probably will not be steady for that much longer. Uh, we'll send our... Um, we have no more ammunition, actually, of these guys, so... I think simply attacking them will make them run now. Let's do that. I sent all my guys. Let's see, who's left? I think everybody's fleeing. Oh, they have one person left. That's interesting. Just like, oh, sh smack. And here they are fleeing. Not very quickly, but fleeing nevertheless. See here, now they are fleeing. Uh, steady. We need to take them out. Uh, that's how we win the battle. Uh. Ah, okay. Let's see how this goes. For Scotland! For freedom! Yes. Yes. That's how we do it. That's how we do it in Austria. We close the distance. I think I'll put you here because then you'll be closer. No, no, no. Up here. Yes. See, they're shaken. Uh, let's move our general in. Because uh, they're not firing anymore. I think that's the best thing to do. It's one thing to do. Now you can shoot them again. Being under fire will hurt their stamina and uh, or morale as well. Hopefully, so if uh, you guys can shoot, that would be uh, that would be much appreciated. Good stuff. Steady, steady, and they are wavering. They're running away. Oh, fifth. Okay, we have now manned the cannons. It seems they are shattered. They are shattered. So, who's not shattered? Who's still in the game? You guys? There's horses here. Oh my gosh, this AI. It's perfect. Uh, okay. Um, I guess if we don't want this battle to last for ages. Okay, here they are. <laughs> Let's set up. Guys, set up. Set up shop. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming fast. Who are these? Okay, Firelock. Let's move you guys behind here. Let's uh, move our guys uh, behind here. We want them to run into our uh, footmen, basically. Our pikemen. So you better to toggle your uh, shield wall right about now. Toggle it. Toggle it the right way would be nice. Run. Do it this way. Okay, looks like I gotta do this. It says firing. Guess we have some crazy citizens uh, running against these guys. Uh, you know what? I don't know what else to do but to. Uh... You guys are getting attacked by something. What are you get getting attacked by? Okay, we're getting uh, we're getting into this. Our pikemen ideally would have their pikes. Would use your pikes to fight these um, horses. Um, that's what I would have hoped. They are currently confident. We want them to stay that way. I don't know if I want to put my uh, my general at risk. Even though they're definitely trying to bait me out. See here though. And now we are wavering. That's not a good sign. Can't you guys fire? Can you please fire on them? Are you in range? You should be. And our guys are running, which is not a good thing. Have our general come in there just for safety's sake. And that's not good at all. The gate is closed somehow. Uh, if this is where we lose, I'm gonna be pretty pissed. Because our generals couldn't open a door. You, you, you have to attack. Okay, let's see here. Uh, I hope uh, God is with us. Because they should be pretty scared as well. 
due to us having destroyed their general and uh, entire army. We're steady. We only have 16 guys and our, our general is fighting them. I don't know how much life he has. Uh, I wouldn't bet on it being a lot. They're wa wavering. Wavering. It should be running soon and they're back to being steady. Actually, you know what? It would have been... And uh, they're wavering. Broken. And... Uh, that... Should it be... Oh, nice. Cold. Let's see here. Do, do they have more troops? Where are your remaining troops? We're running after them. It's still those horses. Yeah, two horses. Horsey groups. <sighs> okay, for, well, for any, anyway, get back to... Ah, uh, you know what? Our general unit should not run through this horse death trap. I don't know if they did. I don't, I don't know if it's friendly fire enabled, but I will not risk it at this moment. Uh, I think we can place you guys here because they're... If they come, they'll come from here. I suspect and I will also uh, speed up the time let's see because that way uh, we might just win this on time which is kind of cheap I know uh, but it's the the AI's fault that they're not attacking me right now and I have basically destroyed their entire force and our the balance of power is in our our corner um, so, so, so let's see what they do I do not want to risk anything back in there Perfect. It would also be nice if this door closed. Because they haven't destroyed the door. Damage zero. So why are you not closing? Okay. You know what? This is... Um since I can't move my cannons, there's kind of nothing I can do. I wish I could. And I have no... I don't even have my pikemen. Uh, which were kind of useless anyway, but... Are these firing? They say that they're firing. But they can't be. Ah. Oh, should we go out? Should, should we meet them in battle? <laughs> it's risky. They're concerned because their general is dead. I would be too. But our units are pretty much messed up if they charge us. Regimental force. Okay, you know what? Just for you guys, I'm going to try this. I'm going to go out. I'm going to leave my safe fortress and engage these horses. And, um, and we won. Okay, cool. Um, good guy wins the game. <laughs> uh, perfect. That, that felt really good. Uh, crushing, crushing that first match where they were, where they had actually superior, um, firepower in terms of, uh, men and quality there. But I guess they were kind of trash at uh, sieging anyway. But yeah, we, we got them. Yeah, get away. Get away from our beautiful black and golden flags. The eagle in the middle. Uh, okay, so we know that the Prussians are filthy traitors. And the same goes for the Poles, but they have yet to actually attack us. Let's see here. Smallpox in no inoculation. Since the dawn of time, smallpox has stalked mankind, killing one in three of those infected and leaving many survivors permanently scarred, impotent, or even blinded. It is victims in this century alone number countless millions. It's victims. The shadow of death has now receded from Europe in the light of wisdom from the East. Though originally treated with skepticism by the West, 
Rumors that a preventative method used in India, China, parts of Africa, and now the Ottoman Empire have finally been proven correct. The process involves grinding the scabs from a smallpox victim's skin to a powder, then blowing them up. Then blowing them up the recipient's nose, or rubbing infected pus into a small skin lesion. Having endured a mild form of the of the disease, the patient will then enjoy immunity, or just occasionally an agonizing death. Okay. Despite some early reluctance, the process is now gaining in popularity in Europe. In Britain, for instance, the royal family have all been inoculated. Any initial squeamish they may have felt was overcome by the simple expedient of compelling several convicts to receive the treatment and observing, none of them having died, that it was probably safe to proceed. Interesting. So, Empire has a lot of these interesting time uh, and, um, relative or relevant events, but sadly, they have no effect on the game, which is quite uh, a shame. Let's see. Uh, two more morale in battle, command with besieging. That's, that's really good for our brave general. And we have some more soldiers, and our roads are finished. Perfect. So, we're our our uh, capitals, uh, our capital is uh, now uh, improving. Let's see here. Prussia's force is there. Bavaria is our ally. They're only horses. We could try to attack them now. We don't have any horses, do we? Or here we do. We could um, cut them off with this force. We would hopefully win, even though it's kind of dangerous to to meet horses in open battle. Um, it is kind of dangerous. About destroying it would be sweet. Let's see if we can do something like, uh, like giving, sending these troops out here, and we'll take everyone but the. Uh, we'll take everyone. Let's see what the Prussians will say now. Perfect. So they're pretty, yeah, they're damaged from the last battle. I think uh, we'll just auto resolve this one because we are so uh, clearly uh, crushing them. And we won. And we uh, totally stack wiped them. Uh, let's see here. Let's go back to Bo Prague if we can. Perfect. Um, let's see. I think we'll want to continue uh, expanding our force um, by ma also making more cannons. Let's see, demi cannons. I think they're better because they have better accuracy. They're a bit more expensive, but that's worth it. You have yet to get. Um, okay, let's build a cannon foundry there. Um, let's see, Silesia. You cannot make those good soldiers either. I think, I think we're trying to save money for where we can build some good soldiers. Uh, let's have them here as well, because uh, Poland is also at war with us, of course. Um, and uh, you know what? I think uh, we will leave it for there. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, it was really fun uh, getting back into Empire and seeing how uh, treacherous these allies or partners were. Um, I, I hope that you'll join me next time as well. Um, until then, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.